Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Styling had always been essential part of text formatting, especially when it comes to dealing with text that is supposed to have consistent appearance and feel throughout the document. This allows us to change the styles in one place rather than going to every single page. Paragraph Styles is one-stop shop where you can set your attributes and do changes. Not to mention Character Styles, Table Styles and Object Styles, which I will explain in another tutorial. With Paragraph Styles, it is simple to apply a set of styles to an entire paragraph. Before jumping straight to the Paragraph Style, you need to know what formatting is. With that being said, let's get into it. What is formatting? Formatting is a way to control how the text should look like in the document layout. Formatted text can highlight key information and direct the reader's attention to particular sections of a document. Readers will find it simpler to read and understand your work if it is formatted properly. Otherwise, the readers will misunderstand the document message or stop reading it. It is almost similar to checking grammar, spelling and vocabulary of an essay. If you want to convey your message to the readers, make it easy for them to understand as possible. Importance of formatting Let's say you found an interesting article on the newspaper that spawns several pages, but these pages are not formatted. Would you rather read that article till the end to get the answers you are looking for? Probably not. Here's an example of my article on Adobe InDesign facing pages. Let me show you the unformatted version of this article. It has all the information related to facing pages. Without any doubt, it can boost your knowledge, but would you continue reading it till the end? And no time to read it all. Most of you will skip to the other article that nearly displays the needed information with cool visual layouts. The human brain can't cope with the text in a huge block. When reading an article, majority of people scan keywords in the text so that they don't need to read every single syllable. Formatting breaks up the text into easy to digest chunks. Now, here is the formatted version of this article. The paragraphs are nicely aligned in these columns. Each paragraph's heading has a bold style. There's a picture on top right corner of this article. Isn't it pleasing to our human eyes? I'm pretty sure you do. You don't need to scan every line to search for the specific keywords of the article. Because the designers had already made those keywords visible enough for you. So, you won't need to go through the challenges of reading the endless paragraph. This is the magic of formatting. Headers draw the attention to the main section. White space allows the readers to take a break before reading the next paragraph. Bold, underlines, italics and so on give emphasis to the main points. Formatting makes text easier to read, digest and understand. It makes it visually more appealing to entice the brain to want to read it in the first place. Now, feel the difference. The left one is an unformatted paragraph which is very hard to read. And the right one is the formatted paragraph that is easier to read. Words in bold or italic look different from other text. So the reader's eye is immediately drawn to that content. In contrary, if all the text is italic or all bold, the reader will get confused 
and won't be able to focus on the main content. Therefore, formatting makes a significant difference. What are paragraph styles? Paragraph styles are a collection of rules that define the behavior and appearance of the text. It contains set of attributes for both the characters such as font style, font color, and font size, etc. And for the paragraph such as indent, alignment, hyphenation, etc. By using paragraph styles, you should be able to number one, apply title paragraph styles to all the headings in the document. Here's an example. This is the text with headings and paragraph. All I need to do is select the headings inside this whole document and apply title style to them. In the similar way, select the body paragraphs and apply body text styles to them inside this whole document. Now how to create the paragraph styles? I have covered that lesson in part 2 of this tutorial. So keep checking. Number 2. Change the appearance of the text in your document with ease. Since I had already applied the paragraph styles to the headings and body text, I can easily change their style. By simply going to the paragraph styles panel and double click on any of these styles. Once opened, we can change the style properties the way we like. Number 3. Generate table of contents. One of the most powerful features of paragraph styles is table of contents. Let's take example of Microsoft Word. You see, at the top right, there's a styles control toolbox. Let's open the styles panel. The shortcut key is Ctrl Shift Alt S. Through this panel, you are able to create new styles, manage the existing styles and even update these styles. Take a look over here. We have heading 1, heading 2, title and many other styles. Let's go to References and Table of Contents. Table of Contents is composed of Heading 1, Heading 2 and so on. Just like Microsoft Word, Paragraph styles work the same way in Adobe InDesign to generate Table of Contents. In InDesign, Paragraph styles are added to the list to form Table of Contents. Overall, it saves time. Simplifies your work, makes your formatting more consistent and professional, and handles last minute edits. Anyways, I have got a lot to cover about paragraph styles in Adobe InDesign. I hope you liked this first part and you gained a lot of knowledge. I will continue the paragraph styles in part 2, so stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you don't want to miss any of the updates from my channel, make sure you hit the notification bell icon. Most of all, if you enjoyed this tutorial, smash that like button and share it with your friends. I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.